YouTube NBA 2K25 Shooting Is broken In A good way God, oh my god, god in green I'm unhinged This game's terrible In a bad way Kick. Oh, you made me pick up my dribble. Why? Use the stick. Use the stick. This shit is broken. In every way, shape, or form, it's broke. But I'm going to show you right now how to fix it. I have a 94 free shooting like this. Heavily smothered in their face doing whatever i want obviously though it's just highlights you you're just showing when you make the shot show when you miss how about back to back you stupid i am shooting phenomenal for what it seems for what is possible on this broken game they might be shooting good, but we're shooting great. And what took my good to great is these simple little steps. I broke it down. I've been experimenting. I've been in the lab. We broke down the ones and zeros. And what I can say right now, rhythm shooting is dumb. It's stupid, it's silly. Oh my God, why did they make it like this? What did they make it like, Steezo? Are you looking at the video? The green window is literally bigger when you use your stick. Why? Why did they do that? You think I wanna do a long combo with the right stick and then hit down with the right stick and flick up? This shit is very complicated, but I will master it because I'm a weirdo and I love pain. I will master this stupid ass shooting like I have. I've been in the lab. I combined it with the jumper. It has the perfect visual cue to combine with the rhythm shooting. Oh my goodness. You came to the right video, the right channel. Hit the like, turn the notice on. I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. Right now. Right now, where the fuck is my... So the first step in learning how to shoot like the AIDS man himself, you gotta equip the AIDS jumper. And what base do we use? None other than Kyrie Irving base. Oscar Robertson uppers. DeJounte Murray lowers at the percentage you see on the screen, but least but not less the three fourths speed on release. Oh my goodness, it's right in front of you. This jumper right here, I was greening with even before I figured out the rhythm shooting. This jumper is formidable before I even knew about the rhythm shooting. If you don't want to shoot with your right analog stick, you just want to take the jumper. It's a good jumper regardless. As you can see, you can use square or you can do the flick up method, the down with the right analog stick. We're going to get into that. It's good either way. But let me tell you, this jumper combined with the rhythm is what makes it so damn great because the visual cue is so prominent look at how he raises up with the ball and the wrist it's all about the visual cue wrist i've been doing this method for every 2k i use a visual cue i am a visual cue shooter I put it on release when the ball gets to its peak and the wrist starts to curve a little. 
that's when you let go of square. That's when you use the rhythm shooting method, which I'm gonna get into. But if you wanna shoot with square, go to the mic court, put on this jumper, the visual cue is prominent, it's quick as fuck, good release, it's the jumper I've been using in every clip that you've seen thus far. Now that we have the jump shot established, this is where it gets deeper. I'm gonna teach you right here how to combine it with the rhythm shooting because that is when it's at its most deadly. I will be breaking it down because the way I do rhythm shooting, analog shooting is different than everybody. So I need to break it down. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn the noties on. We got the dribble moves next. This is the greatest channel. So rhythm shooting, for those who don't know, you have to hold the right stick down, then move it up as the player is shooting. Now there is another method. You hold it down and then you flick up when you think the ball is going to get released. That works too. But the way that I do it, the way that I do it, is like no other. I don't rhythm. I do not flick. I roll. Yes, I roll. I hold down and roll my right analog stick in a circular motion, a half circle, one fourth of a circle. So from six o'clock to nine o'clock, I roll it when it hits the peak where I would release the square button. And it has been greening and working for me. So I hold down the right stick, the player raises, as you can see, and where I would release square, I will roll the right analog stick fairly quickly, as you can see, in the same motion, and it turns green. Now the reason why I use this jumper is the reasons that you see on the screen. The green window is huge. It's bigger than square shooting confirmed. So if you are gonna use rhythm shooting, analog shooting in this game, you want to go with the jump shots with the good visual cues that was the science the beauty behind why i chose this jumper the visual cue jumpers go good with the rhythm shooting especially if you have a good flick method but we don't flick over here we roll now for the fades with the rhythm shooting you want to use trey young fade Trey Young dribble pull up because you can't press R2 when you use the right analog stick shooting. So you need a fade that's good without R2. I went through all of them. The best one that I've seen was Trey Young going left. It's a prominent fade. Use this combined with the rhythm shooting. If you master this, you will see a significant difference. Now, do I say I want this in the game? No, preferably I like to release with square. I like to be able to time my shot every time, but it is what it is. They hate me. They'll never listen to me, so I have to just adjust. Believe me, if I could change this game, I would. But they put obstacles in my way. They take what I love away. They try to make it harder for me, but I don't let it get to me. I persevere, I overcome, I don't give a fuck, I see it as a challenge, you challenging me Mike, you think I can't do a long combo and finish with the stick, I could do anything, I feel that I want, that I can, that I will do, you idiot. And with this channel, I'm going to teach y'all how to do what you want, what you can do, whatever it is as well. Hit the likes, turn the noties on. This jumper is great for the build that I made for y'all.
tall builds will come soon i'll make another build for a harder game mode i've been using this for park and stage i might make another one who knows right now we're just grinding this build for the cap breakers we are practicing every day and i'm giving you everything that i break that i learn hit the likes turn the noties on subscribe to the channel we got the dribble moves and tutorial coming next this is stizo i love every single one of you do not believe in yourself believe in me believe in the me that believes in all of you i don't want to be the greatest i want all of you to be the greatest new vids coming soon i love you I live in a constant state of fear and misery.